Hello, everybody. It's Alex here, and welcome back for episode number four for Hogwarts Legacy. Um, so in the last one, what we did was we got to Charms class, and then we, or here we go, Defense Against the Dark Arts class, and we learned uh, Levioso, and then we met with Professor Weasley, who told us we were going to go to Hogsmeade, and then we met with Professor Ronan here, who taught us Repero. So now in this one, we're going to end up going into Hogsmeade. That's not what I meant to do. I just somehow have a random pin on my map and I want to get rid of it. Uh, world map. Yeah, you don't need to be there. Oops. How do I remove? Okay, goodbye. Okay, so I got to go to that yellow part. Um, I was saying in the last episode too, how I don't really enjoy um, how the game always gives you like the little like dots to follow on the mini map. So it's like I can see right now that yellow crest. If you look in the bottom left, where I'm supposed to be going. Um, oh, here we go. And I was able to find it just by just by kind of following it. But before, like other times, it gives you like an actual Hello. path to follow. Um, and I feel like not having the path and exploring around and discovering things is really fun too. Um, Rebellion. Cool. Broken broom. This broom belonged to Celine Wartnaby and is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. Oh, interesting. Okay. Lunar apparition. I feel like she probably didn't succeed. Uh, let's see what you got to say. Hi. Hi, Natty. I really That's like her. It. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Okay. Ba -ba. This is the courtyard, I guess. Um, okay. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. I wonder how, how different this would be if I had chosen to go with, I've heard his name, the Slytherin guy that you duel. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient runes. Ooh, you're taking Great ancient runes. Great to take it as an elective class, believe me. She's saying that on day one of class. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected you. Okay, fair enough. It. I like the dialogue too. Oh, the graphics are really good. They're like... Look at Hogsmeade this. is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Well, if she if she came here, I think she said like only for fourth year. She would have only been here for like one oh, wait, over winter. Here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Okay, so can I take some? How do I collect? Okay, good. I collect more. Nice. Any more? What is that sound? Are these flowers making noises? I love this. Uh... Okay. Clearly I can't just cast a spell on anything. Like I have to actually interact with something that's going to be affected by it. Like, this isn't going to do much. She's turning around being like, what are you doing? Can we go out this way? This is supposed to be. 
hippogriffs. Where? I wonder if something. Oh, hi. I heard rumors that hippogriffs have been spotted nearby. I like that. I want the lacewing flies. <laughs> okay, wait. Collect. Thank you. Okay, let's go. I'm trying. I'm just reminding myself this game is in fact open world, and I can just go out this way and like do this if I choose to. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Oops. I guess I gotta stay close to her for right now. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits. Okay. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. I agree with her. Oh, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Are we, is Hogsmeade really this close to Hogwarts? Like, I guess I'm thinking of the movies. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess oh. I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area. Since you're Weeping. relatively new here. Leaping toad still caps. Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. I agree with her. Like a hands-on approach is a really can be a really good way to learn things. Like, like experience, as opposed to just being lectured to. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was Lake. so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you that find thing has a thing on it? Yeah. I still miss my homeland. But I don't know what I just got. Moonstone. Too. Cool. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. More cats. I like that there's voice acting. Like, there's voice acting for these little side characters and everything. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Why? Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, Dougley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Why is he very drunk? Poor but I'm scared Mr. about what he's saying. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I would say that I have never been in such a state. I'm kind of concerned about like what. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. Okay, I want to go down to the I lake now. To it's the second like. lake sign. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. This you. is Revelio, I think. Yeah. Okay. The only all wizarding village in Britain, Hogsmeade has been favored. Uh, has been a favorite haunt of Hogwarts students, third years and up for centuries. Okay. Uh, hello. Now, I wonder how much they designed this to look like and here we are. Universal. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Oh, look, Hogshead is that way. What's that one? Zonko's? That's like the Professor joke store. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Okay. Enjoy yourself. 
I will see you soon. Hogsmeade. Open map. Okay. So where am I? Okay, so I guess I have to go here, here, and here. There's something bouncing back here too. Take magic neep. Oh, seeds? Potions. Oh, I'm this purple arrow kind of in the bottom here. Ollivanders. What's this one? Tomes and scrolls. Okay, let's go there first. Uh, so back this way. Okay. An inquiring mind. Hello. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, Interesting. it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Okay. I have 41 coins. Oh, they're like free things. Okay. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Yeah, so I can't afford any of this. The cheapest thing here is what, 300? Or 400, I think, is the cheapest one. I have 40 coins. <laughs> so, no. Uh, okay, so I feel like I'm not going to be able to explore too, too much in Hogsmeade because I don't have any money. I feel like this will be something I come back to. Next thing you know, it's unforgivable curses. Um, okay, what's next? Ollivanders. More cats. I think like interact with like every cat I've seen. Hi, kitty. Okay. All of it. Hi, we're here. Okay. Chest. Ooh, it gave me coins. I can see it right under my faces. Does that mean that? Hold on. Oops. I meant to move my face, not the whole thing. Um, I'll figure it out later. But I guess I'm blocking like where I gain coins and where my head is now. But it's okay. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. So, Ollivander is he like an uh, ancestor of the sir. Ollivander I'm we knew? For a new wand. Yes. Yeah, I guess he must be. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches? Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Okay. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How odd. But, uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh. Oh, dear. I don't think this is the one for me. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? 
<laughs> um, we'll find you something not to worry. Mm, no, not you. Uh, uh, hmm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Ooh, I like the design of that, I think. Uh, I'm maybe not sure. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, nope, not that one. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Which one? Okay. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. Why can't I see it? Oh, I get to design it. Ah! Okay. Um, I actually really like this color. I see. Okay. Curious indeed. Oh, this is so cool. Um, I like this silvery color, actually. How interesting. Oh, there's like different... Mm. Spiral. Curious indeed. I like the spiral, I think. Ooh, this is cool. This like earthy texture. I love this. Okay. Yeah, I'm going with that. Okay, wood type. Length. Let's make it a little bit longer. How intriguing. Does it visibly get longer? 12 and a half. Okay. Silver lime. Does change its appearance. Red oak. Or is this just like its statistics? How intriguing. Mm. Maple, laurel, larch, hornbeam. Curious indeed. Cadia. Oh, oh, I can skip How to one. Intriguing. It's got a nice pine tree. Supple, reasonably supple, whippy. Surprisingly. Curious indeed. Oh, supple. Kind of near the middle. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What there was a whole think? category that I missed. Oh, no, wait, no. That's okay. I guess, like, choosing the, the core and whatever is what I missed. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. That's okay. I still like what I did. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. That's the part that this I missed. Will be an excellent That's okay. Match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Okay. Um, okay, so I have two more shops. Um, Upper High Street. Ooh. Okay, so I wonder if I should actually figure out where I'm going. Instead of wandering aimlessly, I don't know. If there are like other stores I can go into. Oh, what's this? Hello, Calliope Snelling. Hello. Oh, come in. 
in. Come in. Welcome to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure she I'm looks like to introduce myself. Uh, she's made of porcelain or something. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly, why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry, and I'm here thriving. Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Is this how we like change our appearance? No, I'm I'm good with I'm how we look. I'm not sure what you mean, but I'm quite all right as I am. Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure, but you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. Um, I'm gonna do this. I'm, not, I'm, going. I'm happy with how I look. Thank you. It still looks nothing like me. Everything's wrong. The hair is wrong. The skin tone's wrong. Um, but I kind of mentioned in like the first one that I had to end up picking characters more to like how I wish I looked or like what I'm attracted to. Um, so I'm good with it how it is. Uh, let's move on from this from this conversation at the moment. Um, I have a couple more places to visit. Okay. What else is there in here? Three broomsticks. Sporting needs. I'm not going to need to go there. I need to go here and here. Um, Brood and Peck. Honey Dukes. Okay. No, I don't mean to do that. Um, I'm going to go to this one. Oops. Are these things two flu flames? Oh, it's a flu thing. Okay. Okay. Let's go this way. This has to be Zonko's, yeah. Let's go in here first, just a sec. Ow. <laughs> uh, is there anything in here? I mean, again, I don't like have any money, so. Let's see, like, oh, here's a counter. I just want to see if they have any, like, stock or anything. I guess I can't talk to this guy. Okay, we're coming back another time, then. Let's do. Make a noise or something. Musical balloons. Oh, I see. Cute. I think this would be more fun to explore if it was real. There's a real Zonkos. I mean, there is, like, a version of this stuff in... Again, universal. Oh, I interact with the cat. Um, and let me tell you, it's a blast going inside those stores and everything. Okay. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Okay. Hello. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. <laughs> Not that she deigns to come here. Though... I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art to potion making? I don't know, I haven't but done it yet. Anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Okay, so I need these ones. I somehow have 84 coins now, and I used to have 41. Or 
Come back another time if you're in a rush today. Ingredients, recipes, okay. It's not that I'm in a rush, I just can't per I can't afford anything. I don't know how to get um more currency. I don't know how like the economy of this game works yet. Okay. So let's keep going. Okay. Ooh. Come here. Where did it go? Where'd that flying page go? Thank you. Um, I want to see what it's saying behind my face. Well, hello there. Oh, here we are. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take... If my school was... Become. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm in the way inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Um, so I was gonna say... You're after something fresh. What I was gonna say is, uh... Oh my goodness, I've completely forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, right, right. I was they were talking about like just Hogwarts is a whole new adventure and I'm like if my schooling was like what these students do in Hogwarts too, I'm sh I would enjoy school a lot more than I do. Like imagine going to class and the whole point of the class is just to actually get this particular spell to work. Revelio. Clearly, yeah. Hello. This cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers. Okay. Um, I could definitely spend so much time wandering around and finding all these like little hidden things, like the book pages and whatever else, like items everywhere. Um, but I think, for the sake of right now, anything here. Is this just cosmetic? I guess, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna continue. I'm just gonna keep going through the main story. Um, and then kinda like, oh, I find coins sitting on the, I understand. Um, oh, another cat. I was like, what is this thing on the ground? Ba -da 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 -da. Okay, let's go up and see Natty. Ba -da 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 -da. Hello. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Perhaps. Oh, what's happening now? Hello? I mean, okay then. I was not expecting that at all. Ooh, she knows how to do that. Oh no, it's... I thought that was Natty. Oh no, there's another one. Uh, okay. I still... I'm trying to figure out which letter is which. 
I was not expecting to have to do this right now. Oh no, I am supposed to dodge again. Okay. Oops. There we go. Clearly that doesn't do much for him. Oh, ancient magic throw. I don't know. Oh no, he hit me. How do I heal? Oh, okay. Ah! Clearly not very good at this yet. Oh no, he... Ah! Okay, I have no potions left. Ah, oh, his range is annoying too. Ooh, I can keep doing that? Okay. How has nobody come to help us yet? Okay. So I'm pressing RB. Okay. This is terrifying. Oh no! Okay. Oh, he got me. I think. I have like zero HP left. Okay, now he got me. Ah. I like this difficulty. It's like, um, okay, let's try it again. I know I'm running a little bit longer than half an hour, but that's okay. Um, Folks meet, here I come. Um, okay, let's try this again. Uh, but I was gonna say, I know that. Ah, I have everything. Oh, do I have See to watch this every time? Favorite shop. <laughs> oh, I don't like I have to rewatch the cutscene. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Okay, skip. There we go. Okay, we got this this time. So it seems like it takes a lot more damage from the back. So that's like good to keep in mind. We can attack it from behind. Okay, this is going a lot better, I think. I like being able to do this guy. He hasn't hit me yet. Oh, there we go. I shouldn't speak too soon. Ow. Ow! Crap. I see it. Oh no. Okay. Ah! 
This is tricky for like the first like major combat of this game. I can see why there's difficulty levels. I there were like four tiers of difficulty and I'm in the the second most difficult. Move. Okay. Took him long enough. Move. Okay. Ah, shoot. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Uh, to invoke ancient magic. What am I doing? Ooh! 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 Okay! Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? That was awesome. I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Oh, I guess I can of repair all stuff now, right? Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you again. I have to repair all some stuff now? Repair all. Good idea. Okay, I'm going to finish this and then we'll probably wrap it up for this one today. I'm not working here. There. There's another little bar now right above my health. Best thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Oh, I guess I was doing like the ancient magic stuff that I was doing right at the end there. Uh, how many more things are there? Because if you look kind of in the bottom right above my health bar, that same symbol is from the first, like from the tutorial, um, where the symbol that I could constantly see and Repetitive. Professor Fig couldn't. Oh, there we go. I uh, found 1750 in the location in Paris, London, in Hogsmeade. Uh, Gladrags offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill and his associate Otto Dibble happily help all those who wander, wander into the shop, enjoying in particular the challenge of the customer with less fashion sense than most. That sounds like me. What is all this? Repair okay. Um, I, just, I just literally rebuilt an entire house. Where is the last thing? Oh, it's over here. Okay. Hi. Okay, speak to the shopkeeper. Okay, I'm going to do this conversation and then we're going to end the episode there. We were just talking about you. Hi. Oh, nice, nice cup of tea. Augustus Hill. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. Yes. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you So I guess this is kind of like armor. Uh, that's far too... No, I'm definitely taking it. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? 
plenty no. for your perusal today. Take your time. Thank you. Oh uh, yeah. You won't be disappointed. That's a class. Okay, gear screen. Current defense and offense are displayed to the top right. Oh, I can't see that with where I moved my face. Okay. Um. Maybe if I just made me a bit smaller. Yeah, okay. Then I can see the numbers. Let's go with that. Um, I just want to be able to see enough of the screen. I feel like wherever I put myself, it's going to be blocked somewhere. Uh, rec cloaks and robes. Um, I want this one, right? It's going to boost my offense to five. Um, I guess that's it. I suspect you have a sharp eye for that. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Okay. Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. Um, I sell even more battle-worthy items. There's another Rebellion page here, yeah. You're most welcome to okay. I'm going to end this one there, and then we will start the next episode by getting a nice cup of butterbeer and whatever else. So that was so much fun, and I thank you guys, as always, for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.